Bicycle Internet, Anthony here, and today we are going to be talking about maintenance and what you need to cover the basics at home. Bike maintenance is arguably the most important thing and the most commonly avoided part of cycling. More often than not, we just want to get out on the road and start riding, and maintenance always sounds like a chore. However, when staying safe on the bike is a top priority, having a well-maintained bike is going to be an integral part of making that happen. For most of us, visiting our local bike shop for every small repair is probably going to be out of the question. However, I can assure you most basic maintenance checks are pretty easy to pick up and something that you can do at home. You will find that most adjustments that you are going to be performing can be done with the multi-tool that you carry in your saddlebag. However, this might not be the best way to work on your bike at your home workstation. So, before you get knee deep in learning how to do the repairs, you'll need to pull together a basic set of tools to get the job done. We've put together a list of your must-haves for the home kit. The first set of tools that you're going to want to pull into your basic tool kit is going to be a set of screwdrivers. Flathead and Phillips head uh, are definitely going to be your best friend in this case. Uh, these come in especially handy as you set up to do any type of work on your drivetrain or any other number of assorted fixes across your bike. Now you might be thinking, a multi-tool has got me covered, right? These are a great on-the-road option, but if you're working at your home station, individual Allen keys, in my opinion, work the best. Now, we understand that you might not be looking for a full set of Allen keys, so if you were to just get three, I would say a four, a five, and a six millimeter will work the best. These will allow you to complete most of the basic maintenance tasks that you're gonna be performing. So, this next one may seem like a no-brainer, but a good quality pump is definitely worth its weight in gold. Now I tend to opt for a pump that has a dual valve chuck, as you see here, you can easily adjust between Schrader and Presta valve. If there is ever one essential item to have in your toolkit, it would definitely be chain lube. There are going to be a wide variety of lubes formulated for different environmental conditions. But with the regular application of the lube, it will definitely keep your drivetrain running smoothly. Now the next thing that I like to have in my toolkit is going to be a tube of grease. Not to be confused with chain lube, grease definitely comes in handy for keeping all of those threaded points in your bike happy and prevents any seizing on different screws or bolts across your bike. So the next item that I like to have in my toolkit is going to be a small brush. I find that this really lets me get in there into the nooks and crannies on my bike and clean that stuff out. It's especially helpful when I'm cleaning my cassette. You can get in between the chain rings on the cassette and really clean them thoroughly. If you like what you saw here today, and if, or if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on our email, gearcorner at purecycles.com. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the Pure Cycles YouTube. Until next time, stay safe and keep a rubber side down. Thank you.